very sunny and bright day three here in Georgetown as the visiting Dominican Republic will take on the Cayman Islands in Group C play. Truman Bodden Stadium will host the 2022 CONCACAF Women's World Cup qualifying debut for the Cayman Islands as El Salvador looks to build on their first win earlier this week. I'm Casey White on the call today for this one as we take a look at the conditions pitch side. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, no chance of rain, but 15 mile per hour winds for these teams to be dealing with today. Group C play, a little bit tight at the top right now. Let's take a look at the standings. Dominican Republic and Jamaica sit atop with three points apiece. However, Dominican with the edge in goal differential. Bermuda and Granada with zero points each, one game played. But the Cayman Islands still have yet to play. This is their first game today, and they'll be facing a tough Dominican Republic team for a spot in July in the final stages of World Cup qualifying for 2023. Two fixtures here in February, two fixtures in April that will decide which team from this group will advance. Fans are starting to pile in to Mackie Seymour Grandstand. We will be right back with player entrances and our national anthem. Stick with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to this CONCACAF Women's Qualifier group match, the national teams of the Cayman Islands and the Dominican Republic.
back at Truman Bodden Stadium, just finishing up national anthems for the Group C matchup between the Cayman Islands and the Dominican Republic. Let's take a look at the Cayman Islands starting lineup. Coach Alexander Gonzalez put up a lineup out here with some veteran players. Number 10, Janice Monteith, the captain, a steady force in midfield for the Cayman Islands. And also take a look at number 15, Molly Kehoe today, a proven goal scorer at the U20 level, now getting more senior appearances um, and should be someone that they look to play through today versus a very talented Dominican Republic team. Aricia Birkin goal as well, needing to deal with the attack of the Dominican Republic. Our officials for today, Crystal Sobers, will take the whistle from Trinidad and Tobago and she'll be assisted by Suele Shepard and Nikisha Gage with Tori Penzo as our fourth official as we gear up and get ready for the two captains, Daphne Hayame for the Dominican Republic and Janice Monteith. And we'll take a look at the Dominican Republic lineup. Omar Felix taking the helm here today with his team. Alyssa Oviedo, a hat, track, hat trick in the last game on Wednesday. Vanessa Cara as well really stabilizing the attack for the Dominican Republic. Nine goals, and there's only one change to this lineup, and that's number eight, Jaslyn Oviedo. But a lot of experience there in midfield to help out with the already potent attack of the Dominican Republic, as they showed on Wednesday in their 9-0 victory. A lot of firepower coming off the bench as well for the Dominican Republic. Final pictures underway both teams going to make sure they get set here the debut for the cayman islands in this year's 2022 world cup qualifying event the first of two fixtures that they'll be a part of in this one they are hosting they'll be in red as they enter the field going from right to left the dominican republic will be in the dark uniforms going from left to right as final cheers are done here in Georgetown Cayman Islands. The Dominican Republic will have the kickoff setting up in their traditional 4-4-2 system of play here today. And we're underway, Truman Bodden Stadium in the Cayman Islands. I'm Casey White, excited to be on the call for this matchup today. We have the Dominican Republic in the dark uniforms, left to right. The Cayman Islands, right to left, they'll be attacking in the red uniforms. Group C action underway. The 2022 CONCACAF Women's World Cup qualifying, a lot at stake. The United States and Canada are the automatic qualifiers that await as that ball is played forward by Brianne Reed. But those two await as automatic qualifiers for that event in Mexico. Long service over the top by the Cayman Islands. And Peralta will settle. Two fixtures in February and two fixtures in April that will decide the fate for all of these countries on whether they'll advance to that final stage, which only is eight national teams that will be competing at that event in July. Dionisio will take the ball forward for the Dominican Republic. Jaime. Looking to slip the ball in behind, but well dealt with by Monteith. And it'll be a throw to the Dominican Republic. Oviedo finds Cara slipping through Loreo. A little bit of skill into the penalty area on the left foot and it's over. That's how quickly the Dominican Republic can strike. Good opportunity there for Manuela Loreo. 
opportunistic, a little bit of a weird bounce there. And on the left foot where she is so dangerous, but just not able to get over the ball, Hayame will intercept the goal kick. It'll be cleared by Burke. Oviedo. Kehoe stepping in, and it will be a foul called after that intense pressure, and then the foul at the end, and it'll go the way of the Dominican Republic. Reed will step up for this free kick. Reed will decide to go short to Peralta. Look to establish possession here for the Dominican Republic. Cuevas. Dionisio. Monteith playing out of the center back, stepping to pressure there as the Dominican Republic look to start over. And Burke will come out to that, no problem for the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Kelly will chase, pressured by Oviedo, and it'll be a throw into the Cayman Islands. The Dominican Republic were spurred on in that nine nil victory by Alyssa Oviedo her hat trick in that game. And Crystal Sobers will make sure the throw in's taken a little bit further back. Good pressure by Oviedo. It'll be a Cayman Islands throw. be a good clearance trying to get out of that defensive third area that they've been locked into for the last few minutes Dionisio Cara Felissa Oviedo looking to attack no call says Crystal Sobers and we play on here in the final third Tug on the jersey, but Jaslyn Oviedo continues, and now she draws the foul. Jaslyn Oviedo, the midfielder. This is the one change in the starting 11, originally from New Jersey. Draws the foul, and it'll be a free kick to the Dominican Republic. Larea with the service to the near post area, flicked on. Can it be kept in? No, it can't. And that'll be a goal kick to the Cayman Islands, but a dangerous run to that near post area on the set piece. Long service by Burke, looking to advance up the field as the Cayman Islands, Kehoe. Kehoe on the tackle. Oh 
Good feet by Keo to get out of pressure. Windsor looks to join the attack out of her back position. Well dealt with by Monteith. Monteith looking to get that ball over the back line, but to no avail. The captain, Jaime, will settle things down for the Dominican Republic. Cayman Islands will advance out of the back, looking in behind as well. La Claudia Torres will collect. And it'll go the other direction. <laughs> Windsor via handball on Daphne Hayame. Cayman Islands set up in a 5 4 1 system here currently, going with five in the back. Oviedo looking over the top, looks to find Vanessa Cara. Burke quick to come off and make sure there's no problem there. Well dealt with by the back line. Kehoe looking to pressure Brianne Reed. Very smooth turn to get out of pressure. And Dionisio not able to get to that. These first 10 minutes so important for both teams, especially the Cayman Islands in their first game, looking to settle in and become more comfortable, not make any big mistakes in their 5-4-1 formation as the ball's turned over. Peralta will look long. Cleared by Monti. Ball winner, Mariah, there in the center of midfield for the Cayman Islands. Almost in behind is Cologne, and it'll be a throw in for the Dominican Republic in the final third, and they'll play quickly. Vanessa Cara on the ball. Back to Cologne. Right-footed service across. Collected by Burke. We're in the 11th minute here. Nil nil. Cayman Islands hosting the Dominican Republic in Group C play. So far, a few chances from the Dominican Republic and the Cayman Islands starting to look to play over the top a little bit more. Good interchange on the left side. Unfortunate touch from Windsor. Moore doing well to avoid pressure. Long throw, Kelly with the header. Windsor, Kelly, well played. Unfortunate turnover in the midfield, and Dominican Republic will go the other way. Cara's on the ball with a run from Loreo. She'll take the shot, but Mariah's there to clean it up for the Cayman Islands. You can hear the wind on this one. While they're playing, Cayman Islands been looking to go over the top. 
Jaslyn Oviedo on the ball, going to her left. Well defended. Peralta playing into Cara. Jaslyn Oviedo. Tackled by Comor, and the Cayman Islands will go the other direction. Borzong. Goday. Here's that Peralta is down on the sideline. A little bit of an awkward challenge there. Peralta, very steady presence in midfield for the Dominican Republic, starting in the last game against Granada. Fans and players looking on here as Peralta is taken care of. 24-year-old, a lot of work in midfield in conjunction with Santelis in the last game and now with Jaslyn Oviedo. And she will pop up as our center official Crystal Sobers comes to restart play. Jaslyn Oviedo's getting a little bit of instruction here as there'll be a player down and the organization so important when this happens, especially in a nil-nil contest up to this point. Vanessa Cara appears to be dropping a little bit deeper in midfield while Peralta is out. Coach is looking to try to get Peralta back on as the ball's played in behind. Daphne Hayame to the inline, gets it, tries to get it across, not able to do so. Well defended by the Cayman Islands, and it'll be a corner kick to the Dominican Republic. Manuela Loreo will go over to take the set piece. Two goals and one assist for Loreo in the first fixture against Granada. Very active player and also on the stat sheet. Loreo, near post area again. And that'll go out for another corner kick. Loreo, near post again and cleared. Not out of danger quite yet. Windsor does well to avoid pressure. The ball's played forward to Keo. Keo in behind the back line of the Dominican Republic as everyone provides chase, trying to slip Lucas in. Reed does well to come back. Keo trying to keep it in play, but a little life from the Cayman Islands. Good defensive shape so far in organization and a few moments of looking like they may be able to break here and create something going forward. Service over the top. Phillips will slide across to deal with this as she plays Burke for the clearance. For Zong. Godet will look to play that forward. Cologne. And a foul will be called on Daniela Gorzong. Though called on, Daniela Gorzong looks like she might have taken the worst part of that challenge as she walks back and recovers to get organized for the set piece. Loreo has options short. 
but she will go long with this service, looking to put it right into the penalty area, cleared out by the center forward, Lucas, and it will go out for a corner kick. Three corner kicks so far for the Dominican Republic. All three looking for that near post area. As you can see, the Cayman Islands are set up for the near post ball. See if this changes. Loreo with the corner kick. Played more centrally. It's dangerous. It's bouncing down. Cleared by Co Moore. And it looks like there's been a collision in the six yard box. Crystal Sobers will go over and check on the player, Monteith. The captain, normally a midfielder, has been in that center back role today with all of her veteran experience really organizing the back line of the five. She appears to be okay, and it'll be Cayman Islands ball. Reed will step and win it. Loreo looks to find Alyssa Oviedo up top. It takes a bounce over her foot, and Burke will collect. Peralta, who took a knock earlier, appears to be okay. Still fighting off the intensity of Molly Kehoe. But Peralta is back on the field. Ball played in behind. Burke alert to it and will clean it up. Jaslyn Oviedo, Cara slipping Alyssa Oviedo in behind. It goes to her left foot, tracked, and will be called for the penalty is to Moy Phillips. A little tug to the back and it looks like, oh, it is going to be a red card. Crystal Sobers indicating that Tamoy Phillips was the final defender. Bringing down Alyssa Oviedo in the process and that will be a red card. Shanice Monteith, the captain speaking to our center official, but Moy Phillips starts to make her way towards the sideline, and this is surely something that could change the outlook of this game so far, happening in the 20th minute. Oviedo playing car in, Alyssa Oviedo in. The first initial tackle goes away, just that little tug on the left side of Alyssa Oviedo. To be fair, Alyssa Oviedo does well. She does have the position there, but a little surprising with those players tracking. Manuela Larea will step up for the penalty kick. Waiting for the field to clear. Larea will take her time. She steps up with the right foot, to right down the left side. Wrong foot, Arishia Burke, and puts it in for the first goal. Dominican Republic, one, Cayman Islands, nil. Loreo steps up with confidence, keeps it low, lots of power, lots to celebrate about. A really even game, and the Cayman Islands doing well to limit the chances of the Dominican Republic who has such attacking prowess. But that red card in the 20th minute for Tamoy Phillips provides the difference here in the first half thus far. Loreo's third goal of this qualifying campaign. Vanessa Cara does well to collect. Lisa Oviedo taking a hard challenge from Monteith. 
Monteith again, and it will be a Cayman Islands throw in. We're in the 23rd minute. Manuela Larreo is the goal scorer. It's 1 0 Dominican Republic over the Cayman Islands. Two goals in the first game versus Grenada as Lucas looks to go forward. Kehoe making the run, looking to slip her in behind, but so many defenders back for the Dominican Republic. Good effort by Kehoe, it stays in. Kehoe up and pressuring the Dominican back line and Cuevas will have to clear that out. A little bit of life and fight from the Cayman Islands in these minutes following that first goal. Windsor will take the throw in. Kelly. Loreo. Cologne will attack down the left flank. Early ball in, but picked out by Mariah. Since the red card, Mariah has moved into the back line as the Cayman Islands are a player down. Mariah taking that right center back position. Mariah doing a really good job in the holding midfield for the first 20 odd minutes of the game, but she'll take the role now in the center back. Monteith. That's well to find Windsor and a good touch by Windsor, but Hayame right on her. And there is a little bit of a tug from Windsor and it'll be a set piece. Substitution for the Cayman Islands in the 25th minute. Natalia Comore making way for Lauren Scott. Lauren Scott, the 21 year old, will come into the game. Most likely a tactical decision, a more defensive player than Comore, as we did have the red card four minutes ago. Set piece specialist Lorea will step up for Number this free kick. Islands, Service centrally. Burke will come. Number three, Lauren Scott. Goes off the head of Monteith, but well dealt with between the two of them. Burke having a conversation with our center official. The service still near post with the flick on. And it's cleared off the line by Mariah and collected by Burke. But what an opportunity for the Dominican Republic. A little flick on here by Cuevas. And then Oviedo getting a strike on frame, but Mariah right there backing Burke up, and it stays 1-0. Loreo. Left-footed cross. Monteith. Cara will look for the shot, and it's cleared out. Godet, Windsor, back to Godet, trying to play out of the back is the Cayman Islands. And with that substitution, there has been a shift. Mariah temporarily went into the center back position, but now Scott has taken over 
foul called on Reed, and it'll be Cayman Islands set piece. Mariah now is inserted back into her holding mid position, and Scott will take the right center back. Long service, Lucas. Fans looking for a handball there, but no call. Alexander Gonzalez, hands in the air, wanting that call as well. But the Dominican Republic will go the other way. Cara to find Jaslyn Oviedo, pressured by Keo. Jaslyn Oviedo stays with it. And Monteith will get that final tackle. Keo looking for numbers, does well to secure possession. Kelly. Mariah, good play in that middle third area. Keho, she has Lucas centrally, but she'll look to take on Dionisio in the 1v1. That'll be a throw for the Cayman Islands. has been lively in this first half. Only 17 years old, a part of the U-20 national team. Scored five goals in the finals in the Dominican Republic when they won Group B in their qualifying tournament a couple years back. So a lot of goals for her and now at the senior level looking to do the same. Lucas. Rayo. Cara on the right foot. Looks to get it across, but no problem for Burke. Good interchange by the Dominican Republic. Gorzong. Scott, the first half substitute, will play to her right. Windsor looking to play it up the line. Well collected. May have popped up on Godet a little bit there, excuse me. 31st minute, 1-0 to the Dominican Republic. We had a 20th minute red card, and then a 21st minute goal by Manuela Loreo. Ball in behind, Burke will collect that, but looking to penetrate the space behind the back line. It's been a really good start to this game. The Cayman Islands starting off in a 5-4-1 system of play and really causing the Dominican Republic a little bit of frustration in the attack for them. But that red card would lead to the penalty kick that is the separator so far today. Windsor. Godet with the turn. Looks to take on and create some space. It'll be a throw in for the Cayman Islands. Lucas. It'll be cleared by the Dominican Republic, but the Cayman Islands being a player down, putting a lot of pressure on the Dominican Republic, and sometimes that can happen. It changes the way the, the setup is, and, and that can occur at times. But they're looking 
not just to sit back, but try to create opportunities, even being the player down. Ball appears to have been out of play, and it'll be a throw in. Oviedo. Looking to find Hayame, the captain, but Kelly defended well and will go in the other direction. Molly Kehoe making the run. Can she keep it in? Yes, she does. Going down that left flank. Kehoe coming back around and it's defended and out. Kelly looking to change the point. Ball look, looking to go in behind, but well covered by Windsor and it'll go again. Oviedo finds Cologne and they'll reestablish possession. The crowd liking what they see, getting a little bit louder, helping the Cayman Islands women's national team as they play the ball forward. And recovered by the back line of the Dominican Republic. Day covering for Windsor in the back, and they'll look to switch the field for Zong. Windsor originally starting on the left side defensively, but now with the tackle on the right side since the red card in the 20th minute. Cologne looks to get into the final third. Can she save it? Unfortunately, not for her, and it'll be a throw in the other direction. Picks it up in a dangerous area. Oviedo looks to take space. She'll try from distance. Burke up to the task. That's what happens a lot when a team sits in a really good organized defensive shape. Sometimes those opportunities from distance are important so that teams will start to come out. Confidence in the back right now from Scott and Monteith, but Peralta does step in and win. She'll try from distance as well, and just wide of the post, but Burke appeared to have it covered, but another shot from distance from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Kelly, good composure. Dionisio. So much of the success for the Dominican Republic in their last game versus Granada came from the outside backs getting forward. And we've yet to see that today, but a lot of that has to do with the defensive shape of the Cayman Islands and their ability to try to go forward as well. Loreo still comes up with it. She'll take on Lauren Scott going to her left foot. A diving tackle at the end by Lauren Scott, and it'll be a corner kick for Loreo. And maybe not. It might be a foul called, it looks like, on Loreo on that uh, sliding tackle on Lauren Scott. Windsor will take the throw on the far side into Gorzong. 
Scott. Missed touch. Monteith there. Good distance from Monteith to cover for Scott, the first half substitute. And Cuevas will look to penetrate into the midfield third, Oviedo. Loreo coming into that inside space, looking for the blindside pass, just out of the outstretched leg of Vanessa Cara. What a dangerous ball from Loreo and Burke showing some bravery coming out and he took a bit of a hit. Better from the Dominican Republic with that dangerous ball. They're having to come up with some other options. Loreo coming inside, getting the blindside run from Vanessa Carr here on the opposite side of Monteith. And just a collision there. Nothing in it. It goes across the goal line. But Cayman Islands forcing the Dominican Republic to try a few different things in their attack. kick will go long. It's Benny Rubito helping the Dominican Republic get that back into play, push the tempo. Jaslyn Oviedo. Reed will look to go behind, a little impatient there, but cut out by Monteith, and Burke will hold on to this a bit. Lucas, well collected. Looking for numbers to go forward, but unable to do so. Hayame. In behind to Kara. Looking for numbers in the boxes, Kara. Going 1v1 against Scott. Back to her left foot. Finds Oviedo with the left footed shot, and she slips it in. Great placement by Alyssa Oviedo for her fourth goal of the campaign. Her first today to make it 2-0, Dominican Republic. Great ball by Hayame to find Kara in that wide space where they've been so dangerous in previous games. Kara cutting back to her left, picks out Oviedo, and just a scoring touch right here. Burke seemed to have it covered, but she kept it low, put enough power on it, and it was right in the corner. There will be a substitution coming into the game in the 40th minute. Megan Harbison. And she will replace Jaslyn Oviedo in the midfield space. As you see her just pressuring the ball there. Jaslyn Oviedo got her first start today of the Women's World Cup qualifying tournament. And now Megan Harbison will see her first action. Vanessa Cara with the assist to Alyssa Oviedo for the second goal. Great combination of those two up top for the Dominican Republic. Alyssa Oviedo had three goals in the last game, first goal today. Vanessa Cara had two assists in the last game, one goal, and now one assist today. So very dangerous duo for the Dominican Republic. As we enter into the 42nd minute, 2-0 here in Georgetown in the Cayman Islands. A 20th minute red card to Tamoy Phillips. Changed the complexion of the game. It'll be a throw in in the final third. Dionisio will take over for Cara on the throw in, finding Oviedo. Hayame. Oviedo looks to find space. Pressured by Mariah, who's been a ball winner there in midfield. It goes out to Loreo, getting it on her left foot, back to her right. Looks to take on just too many players from the Cayman Islands. Three it takes to defend her, Cologne. She'll find Loreo in this wide space. Cologne again. Looking to force it forward there. And the Cayman Islands will look 
to try to avoid pressure and get out of this final third. Windsor took a day. Peralta taking the hit there, but able to get it out of that area. High MA finding Oviedo in the wide area where Dominican Republic have been so successful so far. A little creativity there to get the corner kick off Monteith, the captain for Cayman Islands. Peralta will take this corner kick, and it's right in a dangerous area, and just kind of trying to thread the needle there and out for a goal kick. Kelly will defend for the Cayman Islands, look to get it out. Does well on the second opportunity, but Dionisio will step in. Loreo trying to find the ball in behind. Alyssa Oviedo does leave it and called offside, but Alyssa Oviedo left it for Dionisio coming through. She's not too happy about that one, but offside nonetheless, and it'll go the other direction. Monteith. We'll start over with Torres. And Cuevas will look to build out of the back for the Dominican Republic. Cayman Islands in their more defensive shape since their player was sent off Phillips in the 20th minute. Cara in the wide space, left-footed. Driving run, tries to play it across with her right foot, goes for the opportunity on frame, but Burke with a great save. One minute stoppage time. There will be one minute of added stoppage time in this first half from Georgetown. Loreo. Ball in behind to Alyssa Oviedo. Burke's coming out. And such a good save by Burke on a dangerous run from Alyssa Oviedo, who bore the brunt of that challenge. And time will be stopped for our center official, Crystal Sobers, to go check on Alyssa Oviedo. And Alyssa Oviedo, great run in behind, but a hard challenge and great save from Aricia Burke of Scholars Football Club. The 19-year-old's been very good in goal. He's taken a penalty kick and a really good finish by Alyssa Oviedo for this separation in the score line. But she's been very good in goal as Oviedo does go over the end line. And the play will restart. Should be final seconds coming up and that's it that is the whistle here at halftime in Truman Bodden Stadium in Georgetown Cayman Islands a good first half an interesting first half we have a red card in the 20th minute the penalty kick 
by Loreo is the game-winning goal so far. And it has put the Dominican, Dominican Republic ahead. It is 2-0 at halftime on goals from Loreo and Oviedo. And we will have highlights and stats coming up after this in the 2022 CONCACAF Women's World Cup qualifying. Stick around. It's halftime here in the Cayman Islands. Dominican Republic up 2-0 on the Cayman Islands. The host here this afternoon on scores from Loreo and Oviedo. A lot of action in this first half. For Group C action, Cayman Islands with the debut. Dominican Republic playing their second game. And a little bit of technique from Loreo, who would be the first goal scorer. But this opportunity just sails high, very active. A lot of services early on. This one just flicked on by Cara. And Dominican Republic would do well to create these opportunities, but the Cayman Islands were up to the task. Hayame getting in and a tackle from the captain, Monteith. A lot of action early on. In Cayman Islands wouldn't sit back. Molly Kehoe looking to go forward, not having 
too many numbers forward to help support her, but Lucas joins, but cut out by Brienne Reed. Jaslyn Oviedo would play this ball into Kara. A great little slip ball here, and that would be a big moment in the game. Tamoy Phillips, a little tug on Alyssa Oviedo, and she would be shown the red card here in the 20th minute. Very surprised to see that is Tamoy Phillips. Loreo steps up and puts this into the corner past Burke. Just wrong foots Burke and just a lot of authority on this finish. Set piece specialist she is, Loreo. Another one there, another corner. This flick on here, Oviedo thinks she has one, but defended by Mariah on the line. Jaslyn Oviedo looking to penetrate space. Cayman Islands would sit back a little bit more once they went a player down as they needed to. And shots from distance would be what the Dominican Republic would start relying on to try to bring them out. And Loreo, great touch inside, brings them out, puts Kara in behind. Now that space in behind starts to open up a little bit more for the Dominican Republic, as you can see here. And this would be the second goal. Cara on the ball, cuts inside on her left foot, finds Alyssa Oviedo, and the goal scorer from the first game that had a hat trick finds one against the Cayman Islands it here at, towards the end of the first half to make it 2-0 to the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic would keep going. Kara goes herself with the right-footed shot. And Burke been very good in goal. Another slip ball in behind here. And Alyssa Oviedo, who scored the second goal in this first half, would be challenged there by Burke on, this, on that part of the field. Now, we'll take a look at the halftime stats. Eight shots to zero for the Dominican Republic. A little bit deceiving because the Cayman Islands have been able to go forward. If you look at the possession, 54% for the Cayman Islands to 46%. They have done really well to try to play out of the back. But it's those shots. What is it turning into? And for the Dominican Republic, they're getting two shots on frame. They're up 2 nil. Five corners as well. So generating a lot of attacking chances, the Dominican Republic has. And back and forth game, a lot going on in this first half. Can the Cayman Islands try to generate some more possession higher up the fields and claw their way back into this one? We'll take a little break and then we'll be back for the second half. Come back and join us.
Welcome back to Georgetown in the Cayman Islands. Getting close to starting this second half with our kickoff upcoming here. It's 2-0 Dominican Republic over the Cayman Islands in Group C action. A lot on the line for these teams looking to qualify for the final stage of CONCACAF Women's World Cup qualifying held in July. An exciting first half, lots of opportunities for the Dominican Republic, but the Cayman Islands doing quite well to stay organized and no goal given up until a red card in the 20th minute. It looks like there will be a substitution at the halftime. Courtney Hicks will be coming into the game for Nisa Godet, going over to the left side of midfield. And we're underway in the second half at Truman Bodden Stadium. 2-0, Dominican Republic over the Cayman Islands. A lot to watch for in this second half. And pressure right away by Jaime, but well dealt with by Monteith. Cueva starts it over through Torres. And some possession 
for the Cayman Islands, actually 54% in the first half. A lot of it a bit deceiving because it was in their final defending third. But doing very well to play out of the back, just needing to generate some more players higher up the field. It'll be a throw in for the Cayman Islands. And this is a good start as they get more into the midfield third and they're attacking third. Hicks with the pressure, the second half substitute, and Monteith will step hard to the goal scorer, Alyssa Oviedo, and a foul will be called as three converge on Oviedo. I'm Casey White on the call for this CONCACAF World Cup qualifying event. So glad to be with you. What an interesting game so far, tactically, between these two teams. Cologne with the ball into the middle. Burke comes out and collects. Alexander Gonzalez speaking to Windsor there, the head coach for the Cayman Islands has this team very well organized in their debut in these 2022 qualifying games. Windsor will find Mariah. And here's some possession a little higher up the field in the middle third and that ball will trickle through to Torres. The Dominican Republic in their 4-4-2. This is their traditional setup in their attacking and defending, at times looking a little bit more like a 4-2-4 when those outside mids get forward. Lucas. Looking to find Kehoe in behind. She'll slip in behind here. Molly Kehoe, one verse four. Brianne Reed defending very well and still trying to keep possession and forces the ball out off Kehoe, but that's a little more like it. The ball in behind the back line from Lucas to Kehoe for the Cayman Islands. been very active just four Dominican Republic defenders very hard Brian Reed does well currently playing in the Danish league played in Sweden played in at FC Kansas City who used to be part of the NWSL so a lot of experience on that back line as she organizes them during these games Reed. Kelly able to step in and win that, and they'll look to go long again. Benny Rubino looking on the Spanish coach that's the head of the Dominican Republic team here. Peralta, Kelly. Oviedo now on this left side, trying to find space in front of the back line is Cara, and she does. Peralta. Loreo looking for the wide space area to Cologne. She's quick, but still rolling out of bounds for a throw in. The wide spaces so kind to the Dominican Republic in their opening game. Able to create two, two against one, some overloads there. Not able to do that so much today, but the second goal did come from that. Peralta does well, finds Cara. Monteith is tight, forcing her backwards. Monteith does her job and maybe a little extra. 
and they will play on as they retain possession. Cologne, left footed ball. Windsor looking for any options forward, and that'll fly out of bounds. The Dominican Republic, as we've seen, played Granada in their last game, 1 9 0. Ball played into Lareo on the left side. Aggressive first touch, good composure. Back on her right foot, Manuela Lareo looking to pick out a player. It bounces to the top. Monteith is there. She so often has been today for the Cayman Islands, just not able to keep her feet. Hayame finds Peralta. The Cayman Islands have put a player back, Guizong, in Monteith's spot. Shot from distance and saved from Burke. Dominican had eight games of prep in 2021 leading into here. So a good amount of programming for the Dominican Republic, most recently playing Trinidad and Tobago to a 1-1 tie and a 2-1 victory for the Dominican Republic. Also a unique opportunity for them playing Bolivia in October, 1-1 tie and a 3-0 victory over Bolivia. So a little different competition. Some different factors in those games preparing them for this moment. Torres will come to help Cologne. Lucas is putting pressure on up high, but by herself. Good ball in between the lines to Lareo. Monteith will find Burke. And this surely will be something called here. And our center official, Crystal Sobers, will speak to both Kayla Mariah and Manuela Lareo. Still to be seen which direction this is going to go, but, and it will go the direction to Cayman Islands and they'll play quickly. And here's a replay here. First grab by Lareo after the tackle. And then a little retaliation there, but Cayman Islands looking to play quick as a, as a Dominican Republic. We're arguing that call, but it did go out of bounds and it'll come this way and Reed will stand over the ball. Dionisio, there's the wide space with the underlap from Dionisio. Kelly looks to be down on the far sideline. The left back, who's a veteran at the national team program, having been a part of the Cayman Islands national team and involved in the federation at both the U15 and U20 national team level. Throw-ins play to the captain, Peralta. Outside of the football, but that'll trickle through. A little creativity, trying to find Kara, but just so tight and organized in there from the Cayman Islands. Ball played in behind Akara. She'll look to take on Monteith. Monteith showing a lot of patience defensively. Ball is played across, but it will be a goal kick. We've got to remember, Cayman Islands are playing a player down as we enter the 56th minute. They've been playing a player down since the 20th minute red card to Phillips which resulted in the penalty kick goal that put Dominican Republic on top. But so much work for the Cayman Island players and doing an excellent job defensively against this team.
Hicks with the tackle. Corner kick to the Dominican Republic. Everyone coming back to defend. Even Cezanne Lucas, the center forward for this corner kick. Right now, Cayman Islands still in the game, not wanting to concede on a set piece here. Peralta with the service. She'll go central. Lucas flicks that on. Handball, and it'll go the other direction. Offside call on Alyssa Oviedo, just a little bit anxious to get in behind that back line. And we will have some sub substitutions coming in for the Dominican Republic. Winifer Santa coming in the game for number 11, 11 Alyssa Oviedo, who scored the second goal today. And our other substitution will be Lilian Classe coming in for the captain, Daphne Hayame. Two very seasoned veteran players here. Two players that saw action, these substitutes in the first game, also as substitutes. So they're seeing some more minutes here in the second game with the two veterans making way for them. Nadia Colon looked to go forward on the left flank. Trying to find that ball in behind. It looked to be a little bit successful here earlier in the first, second half. It'll go the other direction. Winifer Santa just entered into the game. She did get a goal and an assist in the first game versus Granada. She's on the ball here looking for the turn. 81st minute goal, 86 minute assist. Nadia Colon looking for Santa. Loreo, Classe, Kelly tackle and looking to save it. She predicted that corner kick call, but not able to do so. played to the near post area, not out of danger. Now it is as Kehoe is able to get the clearance. Classe not able to keep it against Kelly. play out of the back foul called against Classe and Santa the second half subs Kelly drew the foul and it'll go the other direction so far three subs used for the Dominican Republic out of a total of five allowed only one used in the first half for the Cayman Islands so playing a player down um, a defensive sub used taking Comore out and putting Lauren Scott in the back line. But other than that, sticking with the starting lineup. Kelly intercepts. It 
And as now we're going on 40 minutes of the Cayman Islands being down a player, you have to think, will fatigue start to set in a little bit? They do have those four subs left that they can use, and that ball will trickle out for a throw in. But four subs left that they can use to try to get themselves back into this game for today. They are fresh. They haven't played a game yet. Dominican Republic has played a game. So using those subs a little bit earlier, perhaps that's part of the decision making for the manager, Alexander Gonzalez. Lareo, Windsor steps in and wins it and will go back through Monteith. Coming inside is Hicks, the second half substitute. Peralta is down again. Took a pretty big knock in the first half and had to go off the field for a little bit, but appears to be okay. Dionisio will find Classe on that right wing. Dionisio will step up for the throw in. Looking to find Winifer Santa. And again, Cayman Islands struggling to get into that middle third. Peralta will look to take the space. Eight players behind the ball for the Cayman Islands. Using the width is going to be very important here. They do find the wit to Loreo. Outside of the right foot, very creative. Classe on the back side. And that's near post side netting, and that'll be a goal kick, but a great opportunity for the Dominican Republic as they start to utilize the width a bit more here in the second half. Hear the home fans starting to chant for the Cayman Island women's team, urging them on. Windsor looks to play forward. We'll get the ball back in play through her center back, Brianne Reed. The tackle on the far side. Looks like it might be a foul call, but we play on. Well cut out there. Peralta sliding it into Santa and it goes to the back post and it's in! Winifer Santa makes it 3-0 in the 66th minute on a ball from Peralta. What an exquisite finish from the second half substitute forward.
Some Dominican Republic fans cheering them on. Look at this blindside run by Winifred Santa. And just perfect pace on that ball from the midfielder Peralta. Textbook finish. Nothing Burke could do about that. Finding that space in behind the back line has proven difficult, but right there, very good from the Dominican Republic. Another blindside ball to Cara from Santa. Burke does make the save. Can she keep it from going out for a corner? Not quite, and it will be a corner kick for the Dominican Republic. Winifred Santa substituted in for Alyssa Oviedo, another goal scorer. Plays for Hitafe Femenino in the Spanish League. And a great finish to put the Dominican Republic up 3-0. Loreo with the service. This will go a little bit deeper. Reed attempting to get the header on it, but not well timed. Looks like it may not trickle out of bounds, and it finally does for a goal kick. And we will have substitutions coming into the game. Brianna Poifong will be entering for Kayla Mariah, the ball winner in midfield. And Chelsea Green will also be entering into the game for Suzani Lucas, the center forward. Done lots of work up top. Pressuring will make way for Chelsea Green. Scott will take the goal kick and we're back underway after the substitutions. Poifung. Peralta will try from distance. Trying to catch Burke a little bit high there, but not able to do so. Dionisio will step in. Hicks gives chase. And the Cayman Islands now using two more of their subs with one remaining as Green and Poifong both come into the, into the game. Chelsea Green with the tackle. Kara looking to find the wide space, but that will just be have too much on it. We enter the 70th minute, 3-0 here in Georgetown. Both teams and managers have to be thinking about what's next. The Dominican Republic, this is their second game of two fixtures in February, but goal differential potentially so important as Jamaica also has three points. The Cayman Islands have another one coming up here soon. Santa just relentless in her pressure and the Cayman Islands will clear. <laughs> Foul by Keo. We gotta love the fight from the Cayman Islands still looking to push forward, playing a player down for 50 minutes so far of the 70 minutes that we've played here. Harbison looking for a ball over the top. Loreo settles back on her right foot. Still on her right foot is Loreo. Good feet. Too many defenders to beat and Kelly gets the final tackle.
Good work from Hicks, and it'll be a corner kick. to the top, it'll fall to Loreo. Deflected by Keo and Green will provide chase to Cologne. Torres is out, and that's all she can really do with it as Green closes in. Chelsea Green, the second half substitute. Tinden Montverde in Florida during her youth and attended Southern Wesleyan in South Carolina. Center forward. Scott. This is better by the Cayman Islands playing a bit higher up the field. So well organized today, but just not able to get forward against Dominican Republic. Classe will look to take on in the wide area. Dionisio joins. Loreo, early ball, played behind the back line, so dangerous. All Kelly can do is put that out for a corner kick. Textbook ball by Loreo as the defenders are retreating to their goal. Service from Loreo to the near post. It trickles through. Miss clear. Another miss clear. Can they keep it out? No. And it's in. The fourth goal for the Dominican Republic on a scramble in front. Burke still down. A 4 nil nonetheless. As the Cayman Island teammates do motion to the sideline. This ball gets played across, and it's just in a dangerous area. One, two, missed clearances, three. Just a lot of fight, scramble in front. And the final touch there, provided right at the end for the Dominican Republic. Angelina Vargas into the game. Second half substitute for Vanessa Cara. Also came into the game against Granada. A very young player, 16 years old. She got a goal against Granada in the 86th minute off the assist from Sa Santa. Very young player getting critical experience here in these qualifying games. Checking on Burke, she did go down. The Dionisio goal in the 74th minute credited to the right back on that scramble. And they'll come to the sideline for a cooling break, take advantage of this. While it might not be an official one, with this weather, they'll be taking advantage. You can see up in the stands, the fans are in as much of the shade as they can be. So you know it's a warm one here today in the Cayman Islands. And the Dominican Republic seem to be well on their way to their second victory of the campaign. 9-0 over Granada, 4-0. 
so far over the Cayman Islands. This would put them atop on their own for a little while with six points if they do secure this. And then Jamaica, who also is at the top, plays Granada tomorrow. Lots of action. Coaching staff giving the Cayman Islands some instruction, perhaps a little bit of encouragement, because it, it has been encouraging for them playing, you know, what will be a total of 70 minutes down a player against the Dominican Republic. No easy ask of them, and they've been extremely organized, but a lot of attacking power from the Dominican Republic and just proving a little bit too much. Burke does appear to be up in goal as uh, the referees will look to get this underway here shortly. A lot of other games going on today as well. The British Virgin Islands versus Cuba in Group E. That one is underway right now, just kicked off. Puerto Rico versus Anguilla at five in Group A. Aruba, El Salvador, 5.30, so many, and even two more, so much action. So we hope you'll stay with us throughout the rest of the streaming today. And we're back. Poi Fong will play it back to Scott. Miss clearance from Monteith, and it'll go the opposite direction as some tired legs look like they might be setting in. She's done so much work out of the back. That'll be a foul against Winifred Santa. Curacao versus Guatemala will also be in Group B at 5 o'clock, and Guyana and Turks and Caicos will be our nightcap at 7 p.m. of Group F. Foul on Green, I do believe. And she'll be spoken to, having her foot a little bit high there on that challenge. Benny Rubito looks on, still urging his players in the Dominican Republic. Goal differential does matter, and this is the only the first two fixtures. There's four games, two in February, two in April, so every little bit matters. All details count. You can see how much it means to both of these coaches as we near the 80th minute. Well dealt with by Peralta. Reed, the center back, will continue to go forward on the left foot. Santa a bit in the way there. Unlucky deflection. Kehoe. Takes four defenders to take it from Kehoe. Well done by Peralta. Classe. A weird bounce, and that'll stay in play. And offside is called. Ball played long by Lauren Scott. Lauren Scott, who came into this game as a center back, has been with the national team since 2012. A lot of years coming in and trying to help secure things defensively as that first half substitute. Green. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Santa on the turn, draws two players. Scott there to clear it out. Hoi Fang. And at this point, as we get into the final 10 plus minutes with added time, if you're the Cayman Islands, you are thinking about that next game and what that looks like. How do you get your players ready for that ball played out wide to Classe? Cayman Islands will be taking on Bermuda on Tuesday, February 22nd. They do have two days of recovery, but a lot of work has gone into this result today. Monteith trying to get up. The foul is called on Monteith. Angelina Vargas and her getting into a bit of a tussle there, but Monteith trying to play from the ground and it'll go the way of the Dominican Republic. Monteith just been so critical today for the Cayman Islands. Normally a midfielder playing in the center back role. First in a five back, now in a four back. A veteran of the U17 and U20 national team. She's actually been training with the senior team since she was 13 years old. She's now 28, so, so much experience for her. And she's put in a lot of work today. She was the national champion at West Florida in 2012, University of West Florida Division II. She gets checked on here. That's a player that just represents the Cayman Islands, not only from having been a player, but she also coaches. She's team manager for the U15s just gives so much of herself to this country. And it looks like she will be okay and gonna have to take a step off the field here, at least momentarily. We'll set the wall four-player wall for this set piece. There are two on the ball, so could be a potential opportunity to play short if selected to do so. <laughs> Looks like Loreo will step up and she'll go herself, but Nothing at all in that shot as Burke is able to pick it up and play short. Loreo back on it. To her left, Loreo. A little bit of tired legs in that cross. She's been so active today in midfield for the Dominican Republic. Spanish-born player, Loreo. Two goals in the first game versus Granada and the penalty kick goal here today. Harbison with the tackle, Cayman Islands throw. Looks like we'll get back going here now. Green coming short to the ball. Cologne. Cologne again with the clear. Foul called on Vargas.
Scott will go long. Couple young players getting some valuable minutes for the Dominican Republic and Class A and Angelina Vargas. Which is good for the Dominican Republic. Get some experience. You know, this is their second game, so they're not necessarily looking to manage minutes, but get some experience for those young players as they move throughout qualification. Here's one of them, Class A going down the right side. Well defended by Hicks, and that'll be a corner kick. Goes across, Reed not able to redirect it, but she will chase it down. Right footed service, Poi Fong's there. Vargas goes for it, but just not able to connect. Dionisio and Kelly will try to get this out, and that will certainly be called a foul and will be a card to Deandra Kelly in the 88th minute. DeAndre Kelly made that easy for our center official with that tug for the yellow card and a dangerous set piece here for the Dominican Republic as they look to continue to go forward. Ball played across, she tests Burke. Burke is up to it and will look to clear here for the Cayman Islands, looking to get numbers a little further up. And there's another whistle here. Peralta taken down again in midfield. She's taken quite a few knocks today, Peralta. They're just such a steadying force there in midfield. Got the assist to the winner for Santa goal in the 66th minute. Loreo looks to take on two, but Windsor re recovers and a foul is called during that recovery by Windsor. Manager Alexander Gonzalez not happy with that call. And to be fair, not a whole lot in that. So we have approach the end of regulation here in the next 30 seconds. Cayman Islands looking to keep a higher line, not allow the Dominican Republic forwards to get any closer to their goal. Give some space to Aricia Burke. Will this be floated back post? Most likely. Yes, that's the attempt. It does get flicked on. Windsor will clear. There will be three minutes of additional time added here in Georgetown. Kehoe, just tired legs there, not able to get it across, upset with herself, but she has put in so much effort today. Torres, just a little time wasting here. Ooh, a little scary pass there from Torres, but well dealt with. Still a little bit of trouble here, and Reed eventually was able to get it at least to the middle third. That'll be a yellow card to Nadia Cologne in the 91st minute. Appeared to be an intentional handball that will send the ball in the other direction as the Cayman Islands will set up for a set piece here and see if they can 
get a goal or a good opportunity here in stoppage time. Scott with the service to the back post. It's Kehoe on the run, well cleared out and defended with the marking by the Dominican Republic and Classe will charge forward into the middle third. Peralta. Vargas looking, but Monteith just able to deal with that so professionally. Cuevas will bring it forward through Harbison, back to Cuevas. Such a compact shape from the Cayman Islands. This possession important for the Dominican Republic if they want to go forward. Dionisio finds Classe in the right wing. Underlapping run from Dionisio, but just crowds the space, bringing Courtney Hicks with her. Dionisio. One of the goal scorers here this afternoon. 74th minute on the scramble in front on the corner kick. Classe. Might stay in, and it does. And now it's a throw. And that is the final whistle. It's a 4-0. Final score and victory for the Dominican Republic. First, the Cayman Islands in Georgetown. Group C action and just an interesting game overall with the red card coming in the 20th minute. Dominican Republic had to work for it here today and a great effort defensively by the Cayman Islands playing a player down for 70 plus minutes. But the penalty kick by Loreo on that red card challenge is the difference here today. Three points to the Dominican Republic, and they will sit atop, at least temporarily, of Group C as Jamaica will play tomorrow and look to try to even that out. But the goal differential very much in the Dominican Republic favor with the 9-0 win on Wednesday and now the 4-0 win here today versus the Cayman Islands. A lot of the line, two fixtures here in February, two in April to get to the 2022 July tournament, the final stages for the 2023 World Cup. And the Dominican Republic take one step closer. Cayman Islands still another game coming up on Tuesday. So they will look to rebound and recover. A lot of effort gone into today's game by the Cayman Islands. We'll have highlights here from our game today. You'll get to see a lot of the action. So much from both sides here. A lot attacking wise from the Dominican Republic. They would start very quick and generate some opportunities, but for the first 20 minutes, it was just opportunities. Nothing was able to go in as Loreo, who took all the set pieces, plays that ball across. Cara, very, very dangerous flicking that ball on, but nothing would really break through. Here, a little slip ball. This would be the difference. Alyssa Oviedo taken down. Just a little tug by Tamoy Phillips. And not only the penalty kick given, but a red card given by our center official, Crystal Sobers. A lot of surprise on the faces of the players from the Cayman Islands. Lorea would step up with power and put this away. That goal would stand as the game-winning goal throughout the entire game. Loreo playing another ball in. Continuing to pepper the goal was the Cayman Islands here. Mariah able to help Burke keeping that off the line, not allowing that to go in. And then just really good compact shape, forcing these long shots. One there by Jaslyn Oviedo. And now starting to break through, Loreo would 
find the space in behind the back line. So Dominican Republic trying to find the space in front, trying to find the space in behind, but they finally got in this wide area, which was so helpful versus Granada. And helpful again here in the 41st minute as Cara cuts inside, finds Alyssa Oviedo for her fourth goal of this campaign in these two games. Three goals in the first game, a hat trick, one today. And we'll put that past Burke towards the end of the first half. Again, trying to use the wide space. Cara comes inside, tries it herself. She is a goal scorer in her own right, but not able to put it away. Cologne looking for the left-footed service. Second half would start very similarly. Cayman Islands able to stay organized and not allow a breakthrough for quite a while in this second half, even though there were some good opportunities. Classe coming in on the backside. Peralta would be the difference here, finding Santa. And just a great weighted pass by Peralta. And she's able to beat the on-rushing keeper is one of for Santa for her goal. And then this ball near post, this would be the fourth goal, a huge scramble. Dionisio, the right back, just working her way through. And just sometimes that's what it takes, just continuing to go. A lot of missed clearances and able to get the fourth goal of the game is Dionisio unassisted there. But full-time stats, we'll take a look. 15 shots to zero, five on frame, four goals for the Dominican Republic. So they made the most of their shots on frame, 12 fouls for the Cayman Islands as they tried to hang in there to the six for the Dominican Republic. 11 corners to zero. You saw all those set pieces in our highlights. Again, the possession towards the Cayman Islands, but a lot in their defensive third um, with 53% to 47%. Just not able to generate anything going forward. The Cayman Islands super well organized defensively, especially being a player down, um, but not able to get those numbers forward to create any kind of problem for the Dominican Republic. So now, Dominican Republic is atop Group C. They're in the driver's seat until Jamaica plays again tomorrow against Granada, who the Dominican Republic did beat 9-0 in that first matchup. Uh, but lots of games coming up. A great one here today from Georgetown Cayman Islands. 4-0 final score, Dominican Republic over the Cayman Islands. Lots more to come. I hope you'll stick around with us and catch more games today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Casey White. Have a good one.